Welcome everybody, this is Alan with Daily Armor of God. Thank you so much for joining me. This is my Finishing the Bible in One Year project and today is day 158. And we will be doing Ezekiel 25, 26, 27. So let's jump straight in, straight away into Ezekiel. So the judgment on Gentile nations, I'm on. So Ezekiel 25 verse 1, the word of Jehovah came again unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against the Ammonites, and prophesy against them. And say unto the Ammonites, Hear the word of Adonai Elohim, thus saith Adonai Elohim, because thou saidst Aha against my sanctuary when it was profaned, and against the land of Israel when it was desolate, and against the house of Judah when they went into captivity. Behold, therefore, I will deliver thee to the men of the east for possession, and they shall set their palaces in thee, and make their dwellings in thee, and they, and they shall eat their, thy fruit, and they shall drink thy milk. And I will make Rabbah a stable for camels, and the Ammonites a couching place for flocks, and ye shall know that I am Jehovah. But thus saith Adonai Elohim, Because thou hast clapped thine hands, and stumped with the feet, and rejoiced in the heart, with all thy despite against the land of Israel. Behold, therefore I will stretch out mine hand upon thee, and I will deliver thee for a spoil to the heathen, and I will cut thee off from the people, and I will cause thee to perish out of the countries. I will destroy thee, and thou shalt know that I am Jehovah. Thus saith Adonai Elohim, because that Moab and Seir do say, Behold, the house of Jews is like unto all the heathen, Therefore, behold, I will open the side of Moab from the cities, from his cities which are on his frontiers, the glory of the country, Beth Jeshmoth, Balmion, and Kirathaim, unto the men of the east with the Ammonites, and will give them in possession, that the Ammonites may not be remembered among the nations. And I will execute judgments upon Moab, and they shall know that I am Jehovah. Thus saith Adonai Elohim, because that Edom hath dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance, and hath greatly offended, and revenged himself upon them. Therefore thus saith Adonai Elohim, I will also stretch out mine hand upon Edom, and will cut off man and beast from it, and I will make it desolate from Teman, and they of Dindan shall fall by the sword. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, saith Adonai Elohim. Thus saith Adonai Elohim, because the Philistines have dealt by revenge, and I have taken vengeance with a despiteful heart to destroy it from the old hatred. Therefore thus saith Adonai Elohim, Behold, I will stretch out my hand upon the Philistines, and I will cut off the Cherethims, and destroy the remnant of the sea coast, and I will execute great vengeance upon them with furious rebukes, and they shall know that I am Jehovah, when I shall lay my vengeance upon them. Ezekiel chapter 26, verse 1. And it came to pass in the eleventh year, in the first day of the month, that the word of Jehovah came unto me, saying, Son of man, because that Tyrus hath said against Jerusalem, Aha, she is broken, that was the gates of the people. She is turned unto me, I shall be replenished. Now she is laid waste. Therefore thus saith Adonai Elohim, Behold, I am against thee, O Tyrus, and will cause many nations to come up against thee, as the sea causeth his waves to come up. And they shall destroy the walls of Tyrus, and break down her towers. I will also scrape her dust from her, and make her like the top of a rock. It shall be a place for the spreading of nets in the midst of the sea, for I have spoken it, saith Adonai Elohim, and it shall become a spoil to the nations. And her daughters which are in the field shall be slain by the sword, and they shall know that I am Jehovah. But thus saith Adonai Elohim, Behold, I will bring upon Tyrus, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, a king of kings from the north, with horses, and with chariots, and with horsemen, and companies, and much people. He shall slay with the sword thy daughters in the field, and he shall make a fort against thee, and cast a mount against thee, and lift up the buckler against thee. And he shall set engines of war against thy walls, and with his axes he shall break down thy towers. By reason of abundance of his horses, 
their dust shall cover thee, thy walls shall shake at the noise of the horsemen, and of the wheels and of the chariots, when he shall enter into thy gates, as men enter a city wherein is made a breach. With the hooves of his horses shall he tread down all thy streets, he shall slay thy people by the sword, and thy strong garrison shall go down to the ground. And they shall make a spoil of thy riches, and make a prey of thy merchandise, and they shall break down thy walls, and destroy thy pleasant houses, and they shall lay thy stones and thy timber and thy dust in the midst of the water. And I will cause the noise of thy songs to cease, and the sound of thy harps shall be no more heard. And I will make thee like the top of a rock, thou shalt be a place to spread nets upon. Thou shalt be built no more, for I, Jehovah, have spoken it, saith Adonai Elohim. Thus saith Adonai Elohim to Tyrus, Shall not the isles shake at the sound of thy fall? When the wounded cry, when the slaughter is made in the midst of thee, then all the princes of the sea shall come down from their thrones, and lay away their robes, and put off their broidered garments. They shall clothe themselves with trembling, they shall sit upon the ground, they shall tremble at every moment, and shall be astonished at thee. And they shall take up a lamentation for thee, and say to thee, how art thou destroyed that wast inhabited of Sirfir and Mens, the renowned city which was strong in the sea, she and her inhabitants, which caused their terror to be on all that haunt it? Now shall the isles tremble in the day of thy fall, yea, the isles that are in the sea shall be troubled at thy departure. For thus saith Adonai of the Hem, when I shall make thee a desolate city, like the cities that are not inhabited, when I shall bring up the deep upon thee, and great water shall cover thee. When I shall bring thee down with them that descend into the pit with the people of old time, and shall set thee in the low parts of the earth, and places desolate of old, with them that go down to the pit, that thou be not inhabited, and I shall set glory in the land of the living. I will make thee a terror, and thou shalt be no more. Thou shalt, <clears throat> excuse me, though thou be sought for, yet shalt thou never be found again, saith Adonai Elohim. Ezekiel 27, verse 1. The word of Jehovah came unto me, saying, Now, thou son of man, take up a lamentation for Tyrus, and say unto Tyrus, O thou that art situate at the entry of the sea, which art a merchant of the people from many isles, thus saith Adonai Elohim, O Tyrus, thou hast said, I am of perfect beauty. Thy borders are in the midst of the seas, thy builders have perfected thy beauty. They have made all the shipboards of fir trees to of Sinir, and they have taken cedars from Lebanon to make masts for thee. Of oaks of Bashan have they made thine oars, the company of the Asherites have made thy benches of ivory brought out of the isles of Chittim. Fine linen with broidered work from Egypt was that which thou spreadest forth to be thy sail, blue and purple from the isles of Elisha was that which covered thee, the inhabitants of Zidon and Arvad, who were thy mariners, thy wise men, O Tyrus, that were in thee, thy, were thy pilots. The ancient cities of Gebal and the wise men thereof were in thee, thy halkers. All the ships of the sea with their mariners were in thee to occupy thy merchandise. They of Persia and of Lud and of Fut were in thine army, thy men of war. They hanged the shield and the helmet in thee. They set forth the comeliness. The men of Avad with thine army were upon thy walls round about, and the Gamadims were in thy towers, they hanged their shields upon thy walls round about, they have made thy beauty perfect. Tarshish was thy merchant by reason of multitude, of all kinds of riches, with silver, iron, tin, and lead they traded in thy fairs. Javan, Tubal, and Meshech, they were thy merchants, they traded the persons of men and vessels of brass in thy market. They of the house of Togamara traded in thy fairs with horses and horsemen and mules. The men of Dedan were thy merchants, many isles were merchandise of thine hand. They brought thee for a present horns of ivory and ebony. Syria was thy merchant by reason of multitude of the wares of thy making. They occupied in thy fairs with emeralds, purple, embroidered work, and fine linen, and coral, and agate. Judah in the land of Israel, they were thy merchants, they traded in thy market wheat of Mineth and Penang, and honey and oil and balm. Damascus was thy merchant in the multitude of the wares of thy making, for the multitude of all riches in the wine of Helbon and white wool. 
Don also and Javan going to and fro occupied in thy fairs bright iron Cassia Calamus were in thy market. The Don was thy merchant in precious clothes for chariots. Arabia and all the princes of Kedar they occupied with thee in lambs and rams and goats, and these were they, thy merchants. The merchants of Sheba and Ramah, they were thy merchants. They occupied in thy fairs with chief of all spices and with all precious stones and gold. Haran and Kena and Idan, with the merchants of Sheba, Ashur and Chilmite, were thy merchants. These were thy merchants in all sorts of things, in blue clothes, embroidered work, and in chests of rich apparel, bound with cords and made of cedar among thy merchandise. The ships of Tarshish did sing thee in thy market, and thou wast replenished and made very glorious in the midst of the seas. Thy rowers have brought thee into great waters. The east wind hath broken thee in the midst of the seas. Thy riches and thy fairs and thy merchandise, thy mariners, thy pilots, thy cockers, and thy occupiers of merchandise, and all thy men of war that are in thee. And in thy company which is in the midst of thee shall fall into the midst of the seas in the day of thy ruin. The suburbs shall shake at the sound of the cry of thy pilots, and all that handle the oar, mariners, and the pilots of the sea shall come down from their ships, and they shall stand upon the land, and they shall cause their voice to be heard against thee, and shall cry bitterly, and shall cast up dust upon their heads, and they shall wallow themselves in the ashes. They shall make themselves utterly bald for thee, and gird them with sackcloth, and they shall weep for thee with bitterness of heart and bitter wailing. And in their wailing they shall take up a lamentation for thee, and a lament over thee, saying, What city is like Tyrus, like the destroyed in the midst of the sea? When thy wares went forth out of the seas, thou findest many people. Thou didst enrich the kings of thy earth the multitude of thy riches and the, thy merchandise. In the time when thou shalt be broken by the seas and the depths of the waters, thy merchandise and all thy company in the midst of thee shall fall. All the inhabitants of the isles shall be astonished at thee, and their king shall be sore afraid. They shall be troubled in their countenance. The merchants among the people shall hiss at thee. Thou shalt be a terror and never shalt be any more. Hmm. Interesting stuff. So, the daily promise. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. Romans 1.16. I love that verse. Um, I'm not ashamed of the gospel, which is 1 Corinthians 15.1-4, the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ according to the scriptures for our sins. Uh, I'm not ashamed of the gospel either. Um, so, yeah. It is the power of God unto salvation. The power of God unto salvation. You see that? I, I already did a video on this, on salvation, and this was in my video. But the gospel of Christ is salvation, which is 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4. To everyone that believes, to the Jews and to the Greek, which, you know, that's Gentiles. So basically to the Jews first and then the, the Greek which is Gentiles all Gentiles if you're not Jewish you're a Gentile so it's for everybody salvation is so anyway let's read this reflection and I quote as believers in Christ we should not be ashamed of the gospel because it is this very gospel that has snatched us from the pit of hell yep this wonderful news is open to anyone who will believe upon Jesus Christ and Lord yep Rejoice in this good news. Take heart in the wonderful mercies of the Lord. Be not ashamed for the sake of your life-giving faith. I'm not ashamed. Proclaim the loving kindness of the Lord unto all nations with boldness. Amen to that. And that we who believe might fruitfully multiply the kingdom of heaven, preserve in his strength, making disciples of all the world that others might share in the gospel joy that we ourselves have been granted to embrace. Amen to that. So let's pray. Dear Jehovah. Our Elohim, our Abba, thank you for this day and thank you for all that you've done for us. Thank you that we're able to read your word and I pray that you give us discernment so we can rightly divide your word of truth. Help us to keep in our hearts what we read, in our hearts and our mind. And please guide us and show us your will. Thank you again for all that you've done for us, all that you're doing, and all that you will do. And I pray in Jesus Christ's name, amen. And amen. Well, thank you guys so much for watching, listening. Hope you have a good evening, morning, night, wherever you're at. See you next time with some more Ezekiel. 
And as always, TTFN, ta ta for now. Take care, God bless, remember to put God first in everything you do. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.